Yo, 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 what's up? I am currently in London visiting a friend. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about everything that I've been seeing going on in Colombia right now. If you're like me and you follow content in Colombia, you're probably wondering what the F is going on. I follow one of my friends, DC Born Rob. Highly recommend this channel if you guys are looking for anything breaking news when it comes to Colombia. And it feels like every single week there is a new tourist or foreigner that has died in Medellin. I've been counting. It's been like eight weeks, nine weeks in a row now where somebody has died. And I think one of the biggest stories was this Asian guy. He recently got killed and his body thrown into a river. So it just really got me thinking like what the heck is going on in Medellin right now? Is this a whole entire Colombia thing? Is it just a Medellin thing? And I wanted to share some of my thoughts about it. If I'm being honest, I think Medellin has changed a lot. I remember when I arrived in 2020, I think it was slowly turning into what it's become now. But right after the pandemic, the borders opened up again and it just felt like there were just waves of tourists coming into the country. And I'm gonna be real, the majority of these tourists are coming in for the women and the partying. I talk about this all the time on my channel and I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna like judge people coming for that. I don't think people are fully educated enough in Colombia culture, especially in a place like Medellin or Cali. And they kind of glorify Colombia like it's this haven, this really awesome place to live. And I guess in some respects, I was also a contributed to that but i feel like i've also done my due diligence in explaining how the culture is all the good and the bad from both sides so people can get a better perspective of what it's really like to live in colombia now something that does bug me and has bugged me for a while is seeing all these creators come into the country make content about colombia but almost none of them speak any spanish and some of them are my friends so i mean this with all respect a lot of the things that they are telling you about how great the country is and everything uh, is kind of exaggerated and super hyped up I felt this way too when I first got to Colombia, right? Like it just felt like a really amazing place to be. It was the first time I lived in a different country. It was before COVID, so it, it was like thriving. It was just such an amazing time in a different scene. But after being there for three and a half years, you guys have followed on my channel. You know, I've had a lot of very negative experiences. It really changes your opinion on what you think of the country. And I think that's why now when I talk about Colombia, sometimes it does seem like it's a little bit jaded. But once I had a negative experience and literally almost everything that I've done, you know, real estate company, scammed by multiple lawyers, the whole entire thing that happened with the church. Thankfully, you know, I never got drugged or, you know, never was put in a precarious situation. But that's because I never went looking for women on like dating apps or some of these places where most of the gringos go and get targeted. I do have to say, though, that now that we're almost into 2024, Medellin has completely changed, man. Like every time I go back, I feel like it's grown a lot economically and i feel like it's developed quite a bit so you know credit where it's due i remember when i went to peru a lot of people were telling me about colombia this was in like 2016 i think how they were pleasantly surprised by medellin the buddy that i'm staying with right now ocean he said that when he came in 2017 he felt that medellin was super safe super fun to be at but now it's completely changed Medellin culture, unfortunately, the narco roots are so strong within that city. You are in your own little bubble in a place like Pobla when you're surrounded by other expats or wealthy Colombians. You only see a small part of what that Colombian culture is. You're really in a bubble. And even the Colombians there will admit that. But once you start interacting with the people from the barrios and you kind of see what the culture is like, just talk to any taxi driver and ask them what the culture is like in Colombia and Medellin. They'll all tell you the same thing about how the women are, you know, how a lot of them are kind of gold diggers and only want you for money they're how nobody's faithful how it's extremely unsafe and these are only things that you can know if you had a bad experience which many people are now finding out my friends and i we like to say that if you spend enough time in colombia it's only a matter of time before you get robbed or something bad happens to you if you just talk to the locals they will tell you there are certain parts of colombia that they love and colombians are super proud to be in colombia because there's just a vibe in the air that's amazing and i don't disagree with that at all but you can never down play how crazy and intense the security issues are in that country and i feel like it's only gotten worse and this is why on my channel i'm very very strongly against dating apps i always say learn the language meet people in social groups have your friends introduce you because right now in my opinion it feels like the risk is just too high for something bad happening to you or getting killed i don't know how many foreigners need to die before people start waking up to the actual dangers of going to colombia and getting tied up
up with the wrong girl. And the best way I always describe it is that it's like Russian roulette, right? Because you can have a really amazing experience in Colombia, but if it's your turn, something really, really bad can happen to you, like armed robbery, getting drugged. And I've been even read stories of people just not even in the clubs, but people just moving in their everyday life, getting drugged at the grocery store, getting drugged, you know, just talking to some guy on the street. Like it's getting pretty crazy. That's why I'm so thankful of DC Born Rob's content because he seems like to be the only guy commenting about these situations now that I've left. I love Colombia just as much as anybody and I still would recommend you living in Colombia even after everything that happened to me but you have to take the safety concerns into account. So with all of that being said is Colombia still worth moving to? To be honest I think the answer is yes but it's very dependent okay if you just want to go for a couple months to kill some time and you know have fun party and stuff that's cool you just have to be extremely careful try to avoid meeting girls on dating apps i know I, I keep saying that all the time and i know guys won't listen because that seems to be the very popular way to meet people nowadays but to me it's just way too risky to meet a girl like that and even going to the clubs, right? Like in the U.S., you can approach people at the clubs or in Europe, you know, you can uh, meet somebody, talk to them and go home with them same day, one night stand. That is so rare in Colombia because people normally go out in groups. It is possible to find a good girl there. I have friends who have successful relationships and met women in Colombia and they're very, very happy. But it seems to be the vast minority and a lot of guys who go there will end up getting played or robbed or in a worst case scenario, killed. Now, when people go into this country with their Western mentality or they bought into the fantasy that a lot of YouTubers like to portray online, they go in really naive. So my hope is that go to Colombia, have your fun, do whatever you want to do, but please understand all the risk and the safety concerns that come with it and do your research online. You know, I have several videos talking about safety in Colombia and I just want people to be well informed. You know, if you guys are looking to learn Spanish, I highly recommend this school in Medellin called Elefun. That's the school that I went to. I was able to get fluent in six months. But if you're still looking to move to Colombia through all of this stuff, I highly recommend my moving to Colombia course because it doesn't just talk about Medellin, but it talks about all the major cities in Colombia, even the smaller ones in the coffee region, the beach cities as well. And the first lesson is available for free, talking about all the big cities in Colombia, all of their pros and cons. So you guys can check that out. I'll put a link to it in the pinned comment and the description down below. If you guys want to reach out for a consultation, feel free to hit me up here. But that country still has a really special place in my heart. I still have a lot of amazing friends that are there, so I hope they're doing well. Stay safe, stay informed. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Peace out.